you've come so far. Hello, hello. My name is Prue, or Prue Larue, and I tend to haul a lot. So, welcome for a relatively big haul. So, I really struggle to not open, put away my makeup quickly. I've got some stuff that I've just hauled today that I'm going to share, but then I'm going to put in some clips from another video. These were going to go in a Sephora, Sephora vs. Mecca makeover video, which I'm still going to make, but it's going to be a bit different. I want to tell you about the products I've bought. Starting off today, my delivery from Mecca came, and I love, I love their packaging. It's just a plain white box with a printed label. Being in the beauty loop meant that I get early access to the holiday collection when it goes on sale here. Somehow I convinced myself to buy these things. My order came today. I've unpackaged it as you can see. Let's have a look. So I've got three samples from Mecca and this just makes me go, man, it is way better ordering online to get these samples because they have picked up their game. So this is the Laguna bronzer, which I've never tried from NARS on a printed piece of paper. I got some Stila glitter eyes and I got these shades here and this is just, this is really cool. And I got some Born This Way Too Faced foundation samples. So I'm looking forward to trying them out and see. I'm a bit sad that I didn't get the Make a Holiday packaging. This is the basic one. I'll show you. Pretty sure this is last year's holiday packaging, but they go all out for their holiday packaging. So I'm always looking forward to it. This is the normal basic one. Anyway, so opening up this beautiful box, we've got a nice little piece of paper. I bought something for my sister, which I won't show you. Uh, just in case she ever watches this. From Mecca for the Christmas collection, I bought this cute little mini set. So, this has, I think, limited edition shades. Inclusive scented shades. Anyway, they're named very Christmassy things. They come in a very shiny packaging. And I, I stuck a smell earlier and they smell amazing. So this is buttered rum. Which I think almost smells like buttered rum. But I really like the formula of these. They're just really nice. The three, the four of them were $36 and for a full sized, they go for $30. They're really awkward, bulky packaging in the full size. This is a cinnamon bear. Maybe it smells a bit cinnamony, but it's a bit weird. This is a sugar cookie, which definitely smells like sugar. That's so nice. And this is pumpkin spice, mm. which uh, definitely smells like a pumpkin spice latte. I don't understand how anyone really likes drinking them. They're a bit weird. But it's some really nice, easy to wear, everyday kind of colors. I'm really excited for this pack. And I also picked up the Too Faced Gingerbread. Now I don't even know what really inspired me to buy this. It's a pretty neutral palette, to be fair. I think I was talking to someone about the Too Faced Gold palette just the other day and how I would like that. I was like, ah, uh, no, I don't really want them. It's got a really vanilla-y, Oh, God, I know that smell straight away. It's vanilla -y, but it's weird. It's got some beautiful shades in here. It's got that pop of pink, which is now replacing the blue. It smells nice. And of my Too Faced shadow collection, I really only got like the Sweet Peach is my other one. So I've never collected the chocolate ones. So maybe this is me, my collection needs. And then let's just swatch. Sugar Daddy looks really fun. Like a really chunky white. That's a weird colour. Anyway, I'm looking forward to playing with this palette. I'm excited to have it. And it's like super cute. So cute. 
It has like one of those inputs things of like colors, like pictures of eyes you can do. So maybe I'll try and just copy these and see what they, yeah. I might just try and copy what the piece of paper tells me to do and do that as a video. Maybe if you'd be interested, let me know. I'm definitely gonna play with that soon. I'm, I'm really excited. I don't know why. And I've been to Sephora again today. And I picked up this beauty. They finally had them in stock and I could finally swatch them. So the Huda Beauty Gemstones. Uh, for me, it was between the blue and the green one. I do want the green one. It does look amazing. Annette's done a video on her page of it. And I was like, I want it. But the color that drew me in is this shade in the middle, I think. Look at that. I'm really, like, not the best at swatching. But see, like... Once swatched on, it's not as blue anymore. It's like it's like a black with um, blue specks in it. Yeah, it's a weird shade. It's this one here. That like just drew me in straight away. And the silver, they're a bit more like glittery shades, I think. I don't know. I'm really excited to try this and play with it. I can't wait. I'm so easily pleased. I do want to. I've been thinking long and hard. I do want the strobe palettes, I think. But I think I also want to wait. I'm trying to budget out my makeup buying habits and get a little bit better with that. And there's going to be a video on that soon, which hopefully you find interesting. Uh, but I've officially placed myself on a makeup budget after all these hauls. If I can't buy that, I can't buy something else. I really want to buy something else. I don't know. I also just a quick little haul of Mecca products that I bought today. So I paid for the lashes. I also picked up a new aligner. I was actually, I've still got the swatch on. So, oh, this isn't my Sephora. So I swatched this and this is the Urban Decay Af uh, Asphyxia liner and it's stunning. They didn't have it in stock and apparently it's being discontinued. So this is the Marc Jacobs one I bought because I thought it was a dupe, but it's not. So I'm silly. But anyway, I bought Freak, which, like, is this green here. I'm so excited to wear this. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to try it out. I think it will be really nice. And just randomly, I decided I picked up the Sol de Janeiro hand cream. I go back to work next week, and I thought... Bug it. I want something really nice and like something nice and pleasant to take with me. So I thought I'd pick up some hand cream. This smells delightful. I don't know how effective it is, but you know. I also went to Sephora yesterday to pick up one of the new little NARS packs. This was $38 and it's such a cool container. And let's see if. Listen to that seal. I got the one with the two lipsticks. I'm going to use this for like hair ties or something. The plastic is a bit like shitter than I thought it would be. But it's cute. And the... This feels more like a sticker. Which I mean that makes sense. But I thought it, I just... Like the packaging got me and I really want the... NARS advent calendar but I, I don't think I'll buy it. So I thought I'll, I'll let myself have this. $38? $35. Very nice. And it comes with the cute little lipsticks. How adorable. I love getting these. So I've got the shades Rita, which is this beautiful red. Ooh. And I have the shade Mona. Oh, lovely. So the other pack that they've got, that's the Orgasm Blush Mini and the Orgasm Lip. The lip was like a frosted pink moment, so I wasn't feeling it. I was like, no, I don't need that. And I've got, I've got Orgasm. I just wanted the stupid container. So I thought I'd try their lips. And this, um, oh, it's the Audacious Lipstick range, which I just saw people raving about online. Anyway, 
I'm super excited, but look, let's first. So I went into Sephora again today because they had the Huda Beauty gemstones went online in Australia finally, and I was just wanted to see if they were in stock. Spoiler, they weren't, and they don't know when they will be. But I did buy some other stuff. So my Kiehl's Rare Earth cleanser has officially finished. So I wanted to buy a new, like a replacement for that. So I thought I'd give, I was going to go for the Ollie Hrenixen stuff, but then I saw this and it was like the same price and it has a fun name and it has things in it like 5% glycolic acid and aloe vera. So I was like, that sounds useful to have. And it's a deep pore cleansing mud. So sounds exactly what I like. I really like washing my face with like a mud or clay product in the shower. I don't know why. But look, it's 135 mils and I think it was $42. Which I feel like it's bigger than the Q. I'm excited to give it a whirl and see what I think. I, this will be my first Pixie Pocket product ever. I also picked up this like a little set. I didn't even realize this was out. I haven't been paying attention. I think I saw the Beauty News girls talk about this the other day. The mini agave treat trio. I actually have the Laneige lip thingy. And I find if I use that regularly, it dries my lips out. So this is also in a super cute container. Which I swear is not the whole reason I bought it. But look, it's like... Ugh. And this is tin. This is sort of, I think, more what I thought... The NARS would be. I thought it was going to be a bit more metally, if that makes sense. I don't know if you've seen these. Like, let me know if you what you thought of the final packaging. I'm happy to have it for the aesthetics, but it's not as high quality. Anyway, these are the agar are the agave lip masks in a few different flavors. So I got candy cane, maple, and natural. So I'm interested to see how these go and how they compare. And I'm super excited for that cute little red tin moment. I also dropped by. I was looking for a dupe, so just much for the Asphyxia shade. And I was at Marc Jacobs looking at their purples, and the girl pointed out the new. So this is Marc Jacobs highlighter. And this is the shade Glitz Alright. And I believe these are their new ones. They've just come out, I think. I just wanna, this is so creamy. <laughs> So it's like a beautiful high shine purple. They had some other amazing colors. I just, cause I just bought the green one. I didn't want to buy another green one, but their green was stunning too. And they had some other amazing colors. I'll put up, I took a picture of swatches of them all. So I will just include that next to me right now. And it looks really nice, but damn, I want that asphyxia shade. That looks amazing. Does anyone know where to get like eyeliners that are like these shades I really like that I need some recommendations because I, I feel like I have a lot of ones that are just like one color I feel like a high sheen high glitter like duochrome eyeliner would just be amazing and the final thing so in Sephora Australia I don't know how the US stacks up to you um, with every dollar you earn like you spend you earn a point I've used my points in the past before and for 500 points I got a umbrella which I love I have used points before to like get let let my friends pick out a product if they want and I've used points for products myself but I find the smaller point items never really appeal to me too much because I usually own the product really and they just released a new one. I think this just came out last week. But this was 700 points. Who <laughs> comes in this beautiful box? This was in a plastic wrapping. But I had to look at it. But I did save pulling out what it is for you guys. But I just, I love this box. This is, I think it's my first Sephora box. Sephora, Sephora Joy? Sephora loves you. Oh, I love Sephora too. Have you guessed what they are? What? I 
I got like Sephora branded brush holders. How cool are they? I just like, I like the aesthetic. I don't know. I like having Sephora branded stuff. It makes me feel special. Voila. This is super cute. So I guess this would probably be great if you're a makeup artist because you could just take them around in this. I feel like, hmm, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna reorganize all my makeup soon because this table has become a huge mess. But yeah, so this cost me 700 points, but I, I like getting stuff like this more than I like getting makeup minis because I, I buy so many minis myself and I usually buy minis I actually want. The ones they have are never, rarely the ones that I want. But it was super fun, super fun little thing. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed watching me haul things.